Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, if you're new here, it's totally free to subscribe. Hit the like button for post notifications. So here's another episode of Crypto Nation Reacts. The title of this one is called uh, This is Worse Than You Think. China is Bracing for a Giant Impact. So let's see what they're um, let's see what they're talking about on this um, episode of uh, Crypto Nation Reacts. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button for post notifications. But for form of the currency been adopted by human society, I can tell exactly what's going to happen as the worst scenario or yeah. the master scenario. We're all going to die. This is not a joke. This just in, China is bracing themselves for a giant impact. If you're an investor in Bitcoin and crypto markets, you need to watch today's whole video. China is in a position where they need to print intense stimulus for their markets to sustain. This is not just according to me. This is what the managing director of China Market Research Group is warning people. He's only been scared like this two other times before in his life. Listen to what he calls for at the very end of this clip. Sean Ryan is founder and managing director of China Market Research Group. On a scale where one is flat and 10 is bubbly, where is the Chinese economy right now? I'd give it a one, Tyler. So as you know, I've been in China for 27 years. There are only two times that I've been really scared about a systemic financial risk in the economy. The first was in October of 2022, when we were dealing with the madness of zero COVID draconian laws in China. At that time, if you were considered a close contact of a close contact of someone with COVID, you'd be sent away to a, a, a quarantine hospital for 15 days. So people didn't go out to restaurants, they didn't go out to shop because they were scared of having their family members taken away. The second time I've been very nervous was in August and September of this year. The business sentiment, consumer sentiment collapsed. So companies stopped hiring. That's why there's an 18.8% youth unemployment rate. Basically, Chinese youth are facing a lost generation. The second reason is it's very difficult to fire people in China. If somebody's been working in your company for nine years, you have to give them 30 days notice plus nine months of severance. So instead of just outlay laying off workers, what companies started to do was cut salaries. They actually started clawing back bonuses from previous years and they started demoting people. So what ended up happening, Tyler, is in August, September of this year, a very toxic, scared workforce permeated throughout the entire country. And that's why retail sales were only 2.2% growth in August what? and everything hit a standstill. So the government had to launch a monetary policy. And that's why what I call a mini stimulus, but that's why you've seen the Chinese equity markets boom in the last three to four weeks because the government what realized- has, What has caused, something. Sean, what has caused, Sean, this collapse, if, if I may call it that? Uh, in sort of the economic animal spirits of the Chinese consumer. That's question number one. And when you say something like this, when you say that this economy is a one on a scale of 10, do you feel uh, vulnerable to any, uh, you have any fear of retribution or, or that somebody's gonna knock on your door when you say stuff like that? Well, I think everybody knows I tell the truth. And so I'm going to be very balanced and very objective on what the economy is. So it's a very bad situation, which is why I'm calling for the government to launch more incremental targeted fiscal stimulus. The harsh reality of the situation is this. The U.S. market might actually be worse than the China market. This is the warning that billionaire investor Paul Tudor Jones is giving to people. The U.S. debt to GDP ratio, this looks like it's about to explode. They can't keep kicking the can down the road on this forever. This could get bad. I think it's really important that we frame where we are right now. And, and, and where we are is uh, an incredible moment in U.S. history. And what I really want to talk about is the debt trajectory that we're on. So we've gone in the space of 25 short years from debt to GDP at the federal level from about 40% to almost 100%, 60% in 25 years. Uh, and if you look at what our trajectory, what CBO projects our uh, trajectory to be, as well as um, <clears throat> What we, what we see is, and we're going to project further than the CBO, so I'm going to show you a chart. This is uh, debt to GDP, 
So CBO says that we go from 98 to 122, mm -hmm. I think 124. That's very conservative over the next 10 years. If you extrapolate that 30 years, you get to 200% debt to GDP. And so that's, that's something, obviously something that, that can't go on forever, won't. And the question is, after this election, will there be some point of recognition particularly with all the, the tax cuts that are being promised by both sides and the spending plans. I mean, they're, they're handing out tax cuts like they're Mardi Gras beads, right? We're, we're doing tax cuts on everything from uh, tips to toucans. So it's, it's, it's crazy what's being promised. After the election, I think the fact that you've got 7 to 8% budget deficits as far as the eye can see, the question is, will the markets allow either candidate. I think under Trump, um, the deficit goes up by $500 billion per year. Under Harris's plan, it goes up by an additional $600 billion plan per year. I have a feeling all those are just pipe dreams. Please watch the next clip. More people need to watch the next clip. Paul Tudor Jones just said the quiet part out loud. I can't believe he admitted this. Here he explains how our U.S. economy is as fake as WWE wrestling. Listen. I was watching this Vince McMahon documentary, and in it, and I, 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 I loved wrestling, uh, particularly when Stone Cold and The Rock and all of them. So in it, there's a term that I'd never heard of called KFAB. And in wrestling parlance, that represents the unspoken, unwritten, tacit agreement between the wrestlers and the fans about the illusion that's going on in the ring, the suspension of, dil of disbelief that yeah. what's going on in the ring is actually, uh, we know it's scripted and we know it's a performance, but they ask us to think it's right. genuine and real. And, and so, that's what you think this is. Yeah, we're in an economic KFAB right now. And it's not just the United States, we're in it in the in the UK, in France, Greece, Italy, Japan, Japan being the biggest of all. It's this economic KFAB, and the question is, is after this election, will we have a Minsky moment here in the United States in U.S. debt markets? Will we have a Minsky moment where all of a sudden there's a point of recognition that what's going to happen or, or what they're talking about is actually fiscally impossible, financially right. impossible. Look, when you listen to what experts are saying, you know what Bitcoin is going to do in 2025. When you take a look at what's about to get resolved and what comes next after this and understand the entirety of US and global markets, because don't forget, Bitcoin and crypto is a global asset class. Make sure you subscribe to Altcoin Daily. We give you an edge in crypto with daily videos keeping you informed. If you're interested in making money in crypto, make sure you subscribe. This is what is getting buried from the Paul Tudor Jones interview. This is what more people need to see and hear. Are you off buying gold and Bitcoin and, and I think all, somewhere? I think all roads lead to inflation. We're going to end up if you, so, but does all roads lead to inflation? Therefore, gold is a good investment. Is Bitcoin a good investment to you? I, I, I'm long gold. I'm long Bitcoin. I think commodities are so ridiculously underowned. So I'm long commodities. I think most young people find their inflation hedges via the NASDAQ. That's also been great. It's probably some combination. I probably have some basket of gold, Bitcoin, commodities, and NASDAQ, something like that. And I would own zero fixed income. If I had my cash, it would be very short term. The playbook to get out of this, you see it in Japan right now. They have 2% inflation, 30%, 30 basis points overnight. They don't want to raise rates. The playbook to get out of this is that you inflate your way out and, and you have a small tax on the consumer and you run interest rates and nominal growth rate, interest rates um, below inflation and nominal growth uh, above inflation, and that's how you reduce your debt to GDP. So you're going to have the Fed be, they should be easy. They, they should be They should be easy. You want, they them, should, they should you want be, them to cut. So just, just real quickly, yeah. every 100 basis points, given where our debt right. to GDP right now, every 100 basis points is worth about 90 billion a year to the deficit. 90 billion. So yes, if we're trying to stabilize debt to GDP, we want to run 
the most dovish monetary policy that we can without letting inflation right. become too much of a tax on the citizenry. So yes, all roads lead to inflation. That's historically the way every civilization is. Yeah, see this guy, he's uh, he's breaking it down right there. Even this guy, even he um, owns, owns some uh, some Bitcoin. Uh, so yeah, man, he uh, this guy right here, man, he knows exactly what's going on gotten out is they've inflated away their debts we're going to keep you updated on this every step of the way so make sure you subscribe we post one video every day keeping you informed on everything going on in crypto see you tomorrow yeah. all right guys that that concludes that um that episode crypto nation reacts hey don't forget to subscribe hit the like button um for post notifications and then we got bitcoin as that it's in the low kind of now in the low um 65k so let's see what happens if bitcoin is going to continue to dip are we gonna um um find level of support and then pump back up from here but anyways i'll um don't forget to subscribe hit the like button for post notifications and thanks for tuning in and i'll see you guys in the next one peace